Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Pinney, and today we're going to be reviewing ruptures of the anterior tibial tendon. A ruptured anterior tibial tendon is a relatively uncommon injury that leads to pain in the front of the ankle and weakness in lifting the foot up. The rupture is typically an attritional injury. What this means is that the tendon has usually been subject to wear and tear over many years. This causes microscopic injuries to the tendon, which weaken it and predispose it to rupture. A history of chronic pain and swelling in the area around the tendon, secondary to tendonitis, is common. Because the tendon ruptures due to gradual weakening over time, most patients who suffer this injury are in their 60s and 70s. So what do we need to know about the anterior tibial tendon? This tendon originates from the tibialis anterior muscle at the front of the lower leg. The tendon then runs across the front of the ankle joint and inserts into the inside of the midfoot. The muscle and tendon help to control the motion of the ankle. Specifically, they help to lower the foot gradually during walking, similar to the way a drawbridge works. Therefore, loss of the function of the anterior tibial tendon may lead to a partial drop foot where the foot will tend to slap on the ground during walking. Patients suffering a rupture of the anterior tibial tendon will often notice a sudden sharp pain in the front of the ankle which extends down into the mid part of the foot. There may also be swelling in this area. However, in some patients with a painful pre-existing tendonitis, the actual rupture may not result in a dramatic increase in pain or the pain may settle quickly. For this reason, many patients often present to a physician weeks after the actual injury, with their primary complaint being weakness and an abnormality in their gait. The superficial location of the anterior tibial tendon often allows a physician to make the diagnosis of a ruptured anterior tibial tendon based entirely on their clinical exam. If there is pain and swelling in the front of the ankle area, if the tendon is difficult to palpate, and if there is notable weakness flexing up the foot, a rupture of the anterior tibial tendon is likely. If the diagnosis is in question or if surgery is being considered, an MRI can be helpful. An MRI will confirm the rupture and identify the location where the tearing has occurred. This is usually an inch or two from the tendon insertion into the inner aspect of the midfoot. However, because this injury is usually an attritional rupture from wear and tear, the actual tear of the tendon fibers is usually not a clean tear. Rather, the torn tendon often ends up looking like the end of a mop with many torn fibers of different lengths. Initial treatment of an acute anterior tibial tendon rupture involves protecting the ankle with a cast or boot and limiting activities. Crutches can be used if weight bearing is difficult. Symptoms of pain and swelling will usually settle fairly quickly. This condition can be treated conservatively in patients who are not good candidates for surgery. However, a surgical repair or reconstruction of the tendon is usually recommended for most patients who have a strength deficit that leads to difficulty walking. The goal of this surgery is to reestablish the continuity of the anterior tibial tendon so the muscle tendon unit can continue to function normally. There are a few ways that the ruptured anterior tibial tendon can be fixed. If the tear is fairly clean and is not retracted extensively, Suturing the tendon ends together may be possible. However, more commonly, the rupture has occurred in an area of the tendon that is already degenerative. In this situation, transferring the proximal end of the tendon into one of the bones of the midfoot and stabilizing it with a screw-like device known as a tenodesa screw will create a predictable repair. Another option, if the ruptured tendon has retracted a considerable amount up the leg, is to use a tendon graft from a cadaver. 
Once surgery has been performed and the tendon has been solidly repaired or reconstructed, a period of healing is needed. During this time, the ankle and foot is protected in a cast or boot and weight bearing is usually limited. Gentle range of motion exercises may be started once the incision has healed after a few weeks. However, more aggressive therapy is often delayed beyond six weeks in order to ensure adequate healing. Once the tendon reconstruction has healed, a concerted physical therapy program is necessary. The goals of this therapy are to mobilize the soft tissues, get the tendons moving again, and gradually build up the muscle strength that has been lost following the injury. This rehabilitation program can take a number of months. Usually patients are able to walk reasonably normally by 10 to 12 weeks post-surgery, although it can take a year or more before patients reach their point of maximal improvement. I hope that you found this review to be helpful. For more information on anterior tibial tendon ruptures, click on the link in the description below. Wishing you good foot health, I'm Dr. Steve Penny.